Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Alex and today I'm sharing part two of my living room makeover. So in this video, we're gonna look at the furniture layout and design concept, the material palette, and then the DIY portion followed by the reveal. So let's begin. If you saw part one of this makeover, you'll remember that the living room is one long space that we divided into two areas. The left half is set up nicely, but this portion on the right is a bit trickier since it's open to the dining room. This is one of the listing photos from when we bought our house, and it's clear that the home stager was also confused as to what to do with this room. So let's take a look at our space plan again to see how we can best tackle this area. So I tried a number of different options here. It's an awkward space as I mentioned before because of this large opening to the dining room. But what I've decided to do is design a custom credenza that will span the entire width of the room. And so what this will do is that it'll give us a place for our record player, a couple of lamps on either side, maybe some plants near the window. We can also add some floating bookshelves above, so that'll give the space more of a library feel, which I think will be really nice. So furniture-wise, to fill the rest of the space out, I think a pair of armchairs will be the perfect solution. And if they're swivel chairs, that's even better because they can be faced in whatever direction you want. Then we can add an ottoman here in the center so you can put your feet up if you're reading a book. And then to further define the seating area, a six by nine area rug will be perfect here. So what we end up with is that we've got two seating groups here in the living room, but the most important thing is that we preserve our circulation space. So coming in from the front door, you can go this way into the dining room or this way into the dining room. So with this arrangement, we've got something that's large enough to fill the space, but not so large that it feels cramped or cluttered. So starting to study what this wall will actually look like, you'll see our credenza along the bottom, which will have storage as well as open shelves. And then the bookshelves will go on the upper portion of the wall with the top one extending over the entire window. Here I'm envisioning floating shelves made of white oak and anchored to the studs with hidden hardware. The credenza will look nice and all white. I'm really envisioning this area as a library slash plant nook. So adding some plants will be really nice in this space and also continue the bit of the bohemian vibe that we introduced in the other half of the living room. So through my contacts at work, I decided to get some quotes for the custom furniture piece and the floating shelves. And between the two of them, the quote came back at $18,000. So clearly we need to go back to the drawing board. I decided to still aim for the design concept, but instead of a custom made thing, I searched and searched until I found this piece. This is the BIOS media unit from Article. It's the right height, the finishes will work perfectly with the rest of my palette, and it's 78 inches long, two of them should just fit in this space. For the bookshelves, I found these black metal brackets from Amazon, and for the wood itself, I'm gonna go with just construction lumber from the hardware store, stained to make it look a little nicer. The metal brackets arrived first, so we started with those, marking the stud locations and getting the first few up. Then it was time to look at some stain options for the wood. We've narrowed it down to two finalists to consider. Okay, so between the two stains, yeah, I can see. Can I, do you mind, will it hurt anything if I just do this? No. Oh my God, it's ruined. I'm just kidding. Shut up. I'm it's kidding. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean, I, I agree with, you know, what we were just saying that like the one on the left makes it look much more elevated as opposed to the stain on the right, which basically just looks like Home Depot lumber. I think the, the walnut's gonna be much more um, refined looking. So we'll let it dry to be sure, but I think that that might be our color. So with the stain selected, it's time to build the rest of our palette. Okay, so starting to build our palette here. We're starting out with the wood shelves that have been stained. And then that will go with the black brackets that we have. Okay, then the next major element of this is gonna be our books and our credenzas. And then to that, we are gonna add our plants. So, Having the books and the plants is gonna be pretty visually busy. You know, we've got a different, um, or lots of different colors with the books and the plants. 
So to keep things simple and balance things out, we're gonna go with a very neutral rug. This is an ivory rug. Um, it's got a little bit of variation, but it's mostly reading as a single color here. And then our upholstery will also be very simple. This is just a solid ivory fabric. Um, to bring in some warmth, I think some leather for the poof will be a nice touch there. And then paint, this is gray, Coventry Gray by Benjamin Moore. Um, our trim will be white. This is Chantilly Lace, also by Benjamin Moore. And then as a final accent, I think we'll bring in some gold Otami pillows. And between this and the plants, I think we'll really reinforce that boho vibe that we're looking for. So here's our palette. So the next step is to sand all the wood and get it ready for the stain. And not to brag, but you'll notice here that I'm rocking a few extra pounds and socks with sandals, so... With all the wood sanded, it's time for staining. And man, I'd forgotten how strong this stuff smells, so if you use oil stain, make sure to do it in a well-ventilated area. We may have killed a few brain cells, but the results were well worth it. And now that all the wood planks are ready to go, it's time to finish getting the rest of the brackets installed so we can get the shelves up on the wall. So things were going really well, uh, but then we hit a little bit of a snag. Hey, so our house is a mess with all these boxes and stuff. Um, I was super excited because we just got our brand new credenzas to fill this wall. And as luck would have it, they don't fit because we're this much short. So now we have to figure out what to do and how to make this work. In the end, we asked a friend to cut out a notch in the wall trim so we could fit the furniture in the space. It's not ideal, but we're making it work. So now with the credenzas in place, it's time for the final step. So I really love how this space turned out. It's really cozy and I love sitting here with a book, looking at my plants. But you know what the best part is? Is that I can do this. 
Eh? Eh? <laughs> okay, that does it for us today. If you enjoyed this video or were even just mildly entertained, please hit that like button. It would really help me out. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.